Hi everyone, welcome back to Learning Bridge. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. I know, guys, I'm coming back with a podcast after a very long time, but definitely the one which I have recorded, it is going to be worth listening. Someone who is just 13 year old and about to move into the ninth standard and definitely an amazing passion for the computer science world, computer science domain. Not even the computer science world, but he chose it, the data analytics, machine learning, engineering. and data science domain as his passion and he's following it he's a self taught machine learning engineer pretty amazing and i know there are a lot of things to share about him and i don't want to give you any spoiler i want you to listen this podcast till the end because this guy super amazing i was really inspired with him when i was speaking and you will definitely get that kind of vibe and that kind of positivity that kind of motivation that how can you start like if someone who is running in the dark and have no clue about the future you can definitely learn from this guy and at the end of the podcast if you find it worth listening then make sure to like it share it with someone who would you want to and please comment down your thoughts about this kid in the comment section that would be really really motivational for him and for me as well hey hi ayush uh, welcome to my channel and first of all thank you very much for joining us today and guys this kid ayush singh is super talented he is in 9th standard and like amazing kid amazing kid and why i am saying this definitely you'll get to know in next couple of minutes in this entire podcast so hey ayush how are you doing man uh absolutely fine and you yeah doing good doing good so i have prepared a, a good list of questions because i know your journey is quite inspirational in this like such a young age like i can cannot even imagine it uh, right so i am going to start those questions so first like can you tell our audience about yourself and your background because i'm pretty sure they are very curious to know more about you yeah my name is ayush and i have till now i have cleared two microsoft exams the ai engineer and azure fundamentals and i'm in i'm i'm in class 9th in sankiran secondary school in patna bihar and um, i have i have done some internships in data science and machine learning and gain real world experience to do that and also worked at great learning as a selenium content developer and also i'm an instructor at zuzu and also i'm a content creator at youtube and the and the thing is that i'm also a learner and uh, i i want to learn things and uh, make familiar with my viewers wow i mean like how can someone imagine this like a kid who is just in the 8th standard and into this data science machine learning and uh, like self taught programmer like i can definitely not imagine it i mean i i know few examples but Uh, watching someone in the real is definitely a great pleasure so i'm really impressed ayush and i hope our audience is also impressed with your background so next question for you is that you you talked about that you own a youtube channel as well and i have seen that one so it's uh, pretty good so can you tell about your youtube channel and what kind of content you use to put there yeah absolutely uh Uh, my youtube channel name is new era and uh, i have started that youtube channel on 1 5th january i think so and okay. uh, from that i have announced a full stack machine learning course and uh, it i can't say that full stack machine learning course this is a good course i did it that i can think of like i've started from base very basics of machine learning and not talking about the using scikit learn the sky type of library implementing the algorithms i have gone through very a uh, very from scratch like uh, mathematics from machine learning algorithms and all those kind of stuff and okay. uh, starting from very basics to make someone think uh, like a good machine learning practitioner or a uh, researcher because every instructors on youtube are only going through uh, not implementing the things from very scratch either in python they are mm-hmm. only you making use of the library scikit learn and they are implementing this but i don't think that would be great so okay. i started with the machine learning course and the machine learning course is at the end and uh, i i have a lot to, about machine learning of it means i have i'm just learning about in research papers all this kind of stuff and in that we'll put all more videos on machine learning too 
But okay. um, um, apart from machine learning, I've also started a Flask full course, which is for backend developers. And uh, wow. the reason why I started because I have intuitive understanding of Flask from a book called Web Development Flask. And in that, I've started from Flask there. And then um, I think this this course will be at end, almost at the end, and we'll be doing projects in Flask. And then we have gone to the data structures and algorithms that are loved by Indians. And in that, I have started my DSN algo course. And I'm also learning that. And uh, I thought that let's let's introduce it to our viewers. So I introduce whatever I have written in the notes. I just give it to my viewers for absolutely free. All right. Sounds really good and pretty amazing that uh, like in the age of learning, you are actually started contributing to the community itself. Like whatever you learn, you're trying to give it back to the community. So it's uh, pretty amazing to see it, uh, Ayush. And guys, I'll be putting his channel link in the description. Go and check that out. Subscribe to his channel. He's trying his level best in this such a young age. So you should definitely appreciate his efforts. Okay, so I use a next question for you that uh, like you are about to enter like in, in the our uh, initial conversation I got to know about that you just passed your 8th standard and you are about to enter to, into the 9th standard and it's really brilliant to see that in this uh, like young age you are having a, such a good grasp in the computer science. So how did it start like when did you start following computer science as your passion and career? See, the passion comes uh, at the point, like uh, whenever you do something like uh, it eventually stuck in your mind that let's let's do for computer science. That's how I pass. I find the passion. I explore the things. Uh, first, I go on through a website called Wix, how to make a website and then go on through that. And uh, a little bit. Let, let's let's dive in more. Let's dive in more. In that way, I explore the things for one month and then eventually deep dive into the computer science. And the thing that I found is uh, let's do something kind of uh, different. So I gone on to gone a uh, uh, kind of a carrier called the data science or a machine learning or a deep learning. Okay. And I saw the fellows are not learning that because of prerequisites because it involves linear algebra, calculus, and all those kind of stuff. But the the great thing is that the the prerequisites are only written on the Google. And they are not, mis I, I don't think that the prerequisites are really important yet. Yeah. Prerequisites are important, but the thing is that you should not be mastering linear algebra or calculus. Yeah. So from that, I thought let's let's do this. Let's take this challenge as an opportunity and let's dive into the machine learning or a deep learning and let's 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 educate some others also. As if my, but my first priority is that let's educate myself okay. and then I'm ready to give um, back to my community. And I learned from that with the books, all those kind of stuff. And uh, one course which by Andrew Ng and Deep Learning Specialization. But the main priority is I have learned from the books. I'm, I'm a data engineer, right? My, my role and responsibilities are a bit different. But uh, yeah, yeah. like looking at you, I think, uh, oh, oh my God, what I'm doing. <laughs> one inspiration line that I can tell to all the viewers is the, and the, but they, the way they think of their the challenges is that they take challenges as an opportunity. Yeah. Then only because they all say that they are not getting the opportunities. And you don't get the opportunities. You only get the challenges. And you have to convert the challenges into opportunities. Correct. And that's how the I uh, started these things. Yep, definitely. I agree, I agree. Uh, all right. So, Ayush, next question for you. Like, you are well, well or really well in the data structures algorithm as well, right? Even you are teaching those topics on your YouTube channel. So next question that in the age of uh, when like people just start uh, reading about the fundamentals, like what is hard disk? What is the RAM, ROM? You are uh, like so much good in the programming part, data structures algorithm part as well. So how did you master these things? Like how did you start? Can you share those? Steps with the viewers as well like how what kind of baby steps actually you follow uh, yeah so the thing the how do how we can start is something kind of different yeah. is uh, I think that the, that the thing that should be different your motto should not be get into the like the like in Google or Microsoft 
first you have to do your you have to do your means increase your knowledge as much as you can and eventually Google will come onto your place or Amazon will come onto your place so don't worry about getting uh, jobs into that because I have seen many fellows are thinking oh, I want to go on Google and they are not preparing for the particular DS and algo and that that does not be a great thing and the first thing first is the tip I'm going to share is the follow the course that follow the course because in the first video, I, I have the, done an analysis that in the first video of my DS and algo, okay. I had got 100 plus views. And now when I go the upwards like a recursion like that, and I'm only getting a 12 views. Okay. And the students are generally get demotivated or what is not a demotivated, I, I, I'd say the word. I can say they are losing their uh, kind of the passion yeah. and and they're thinking I want to go on Google that's not a possible until and unless you will execute in the same manner the hundred views should be the hundred views in the second video also correct correct yep and it's it's really amazing to see that uh, mature thinking right uh, like your motto the first line you said your motto shouldn't be uh, like only targeting the product base or tech giants and you are just studying data structures algorithm for that purpose right because that kind of mentality we have, like whosoever is watching this video, you should learn that uh, in this such a young age, how this kid is having such a mature mentality that about the learning actually, right? He didn't mention that, okay, I'm targeting Google, Facebook. That's why I'm deeping dive into the data structures algorithm. Like he, he don't know even about his future, like, but he's trying his best that what he can do for uh, like his passion towards the computer science and and rest of the things will happen by by uh, you can say according to its time right so um, yeah i'm perfectly uh, you can say so impressed with your mature thinking i use it's really nice like uh, people should learn from you man next question for you i use uh, that again i mean l regarding the data science and machine learning part now you are i can tell you that you are self taught machine learning engineer or who someone who is who's in the, into this data science domain who's exploring it who's learning and developing something so how did you build your interest in the data analytics domain because you might uh, you might have looked forward for other domains the back end development the front end development right or even the android yeah, yeah. or ios development but why specifically this data analytics domain what what was the main reason behind that the main reason is behind that is little bit i think little bit slightly different like uh, the way i think the all are learning even my age students are learning web development mm -hmm means they are doing the same thing and what makes me the different is I have to do something kind of different what makes me the different okay. and that's why I got to choose let's let's go on data science and let's see what happens and I directly jump into that and you and you will not believe that I had learned from the books mainly and it is a PDF version okay. it is a PDF version and I have set it a goal uh, for 30 pages per day and in 26 pages my book is over and then and and like that i come up with, because at that point i was little bit on not financially good at that point but uh, eventually i learned from the pdf and uh, i think the main reason was that simply um i i want to do i want to get a get out from the crowd because my age also are learning web development so why i'm going to do that ds and algo yeah i just now i'm learn, learning but uh, in data science domain that the fellows are little bit afraid about learning machine learning yeah. or even deep learning so that's why let's i have choose to go into that yeah yeah so i think yeah the main reason was you just wanted to do something which is not very common right because the majority is yeah. for the web development and the software development but yeah this profile yeah. is booming and everybody knows its future then i think you are definitely on the right track i use and your future is very bright i can definitely see it Okay, so uh, Ayush, like based on our initial conversation and uh, like I have looked at your LinkedIn profile as well. So then I got to know about that you are working in the data analytics domain and you are doing the internships as well. So can you share that experience with our viewers? How did you get those opportunities and like what's your experience of doing internships so far? 
uh, yeah the first of all I was rejected many times because of my age because I usually write my age whenever I give my application like a self taught 13 year old self taught programmer and they reject me because they think that I'm lying okay. or something like that and uh, just like this because that this, this kid uh, is just a 13 year old and doing an AI ML kind of stuff so definitely it's hard yeah. to believe for someone <laughs> Yeah, so but some companies had believed in me, they take an interview and I was ready to go and in, in that place. So uh, the thing that I've seen that in a domain of data science, I learned, learned about um, mainly things like uh, the data exploration, data visualization, data analytics like okay. that. But in machine learning, it was a little bit different like in model kind of thing, we have to build a model. Mainly my task was to optimize the model. Okay. Okay, I think I have only left a couple of questions for you, those probably related to your future uh, plans, right? As you talked about your YouTube channel that like you are teaching people as well, like you are taking the master classes yeah. as well, you are creating YouTube content as well. So who is your yeah. audience? Like I'm very curious to know about it. Let's say like folks uh, who are at your your age they are the audience or like more than that even the working professionals so i'm curious to know about that uh, these are the 18 to 25 and then it is going 25 to 35 wow. I had seen from my YouTube analytics like 18 to 25 and 20 to 35 is usually the uh, genre, the age is and the mainly I think I don't believe in targeting audience the one who want to see they, they will see and other will yeah. not see that what that, because if I see that this is not saying this will demotivate yeah. me a lot because by seeing that he's that, like I'm not getting that kind of views you, you can see that um, I, I I have even got got a uh, two views wow. but uh, that's they did not demotivate me like I am going to do my work and uh, it the one who wants to get benefit they can but the one uh, what, what can I do in that place so I I didn't did not care about the views I didn't care about the one who is watching I only care about that I provide the quality content to all of the okay. viewers that's pretty pretty good thinking at least uh, initially it was really hard for me like when I started my YouTube journey I was getting very less views because I was not sure like the, the kind of content I need to prepare and but when I just picked it and uh, then people started watching it and it gave me a good motivation so I can definitely relate with you and I can agree and don't worry about it I use like your channel uh, will definitely grow very very soon because you are trying your level best to provide the quality content it may take some time but definitely it will get noticed okay what is your future plan like after completing your 10 plus 2 I know it's like probably four years from now for you to complete your 10 plus 2 but it's still like what are you planning what's your in your head uh, first of all, one thing that uh, the thing that is, I have asked the, uh, the everyone who is just uh, interviewing me will ask, what's your future plan? And the only answer I will give to them is, uh, it's I'm not going to go. I this is none, my first priority is not go on in IIT or MIT because you you might be a thing that I'm going to go IIT, I'm MIT, yeah. Harvard, or I'm going to cry Google, I want to cry Microsoft. That's not my first priority. Okay. My first priority is to get into this AI or CS, it may be a physics, it may be a mathematics, whatever it may, it may be the domain mm -hmm. is, I want to simply get the knowledge as much as I can and distribute the knowledge because when I distribute the knowledge, this will increase domestically my knowledge also because using a fine mind technique, like when I learned some concept, I used to describe with others so that they can understand the thing better and I also understand the thing better. So my future plan is just to get, get knowledge and eventually I will be it, it may be that I can go in IIT or okay. MIT. Next question would be that how, how you like improve your English communication, right? The accent and the like way of communication, way you deliver the things. How did you improve it? Uh, there is a short story into that. Um, yeah, I usually learn mathematics from Khan Academy, which is uh, uh, maybe you know about it. Many other some of the viewers may not know about um, Khan Academy, and uh, he teaches uh, mathematics. Yeah. And uh, also, I I used to mimic whatever he say. I used to mimic in front of the mirror about the same thing, or it may, it may be in something uh, like I'm I'm in my 
I'm taking bath and Dada used to speak in English and that accent like a Salman Khan has at that point. So I just used to mimic and eventually my English accent is some something like that. It, it, my English accent is liked by some others and they didn't like by some others. So I didn't care about English accent. This, this is all my accent is. And yeah, that's that's what. I'll wrap up this session with one last question, Ayush, and that is okay. that can you give some inspiration lines to my viewers? I know probably uh, that the range, or the age range of my audience is like more than 18, 18 plus, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you are such a very, very good example who is literally learning the things, implementing the things in a such a very young age where even people don't know. Uh, how to study the physics, chemistry, maths properly, right? So, yeah. what would you like to tell them? Uh, how would you like to inspire them? Okay. So, first of all, the the first I'm, I'm going to say two lines. Uh, <laughs> the first line would be that everyone think that they are worthless, and the one thing that I could tell him that they are not worthless. They are unique in the world. And it, it may be that you are saying that and just fi just find the passion and what you what a real interest in you because if, if you're seeing this video I can assume that you will if you're not from the CS background you will have some mind that if I will from CS uh, background I would have gone through this but no in whatever background you are you can achieve something in there only so don't think that you are worthless you are worth it you are you are very unique to the world and for and you just have to follow your passion and to follow your passion first of all you have to find your passion and right. for finding the passion you have to explore the things and these that test that that four lines explains you about mm -hmm. how to follow the passion and how to find the passion Cool, cool. Such a beautiful lines. Like uh, you should feel yourself that you are worthy. Don't care about the world. They will try to pull you down. You need yeah. to stand up. You need to take your own decision. Make your interest. Follow it, and you will be like you will be doing the wonders. So, uh, thanks, Ayush, for motivating my audience. Even I, I'm pretty sure that your journey is quite inspiring. They. Like even starting five, six minutes of the podcast, they'll get a like positive vibes from you. So before ending this session, I would like to thank you uh, uh, again, Ayush, for uh, spending your time with, with us today and sharing your beautiful journey, how you started and whatever happened uh, with you in like last four or five years. How did you learn the things? So it's quite amazing. I'm really impressed. And uh, from my side and from my audience side, a very, very good luck to you, your bright future and your YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye-bye. That was all about this podcast, guys. I hope you would have liked the journey of Ayush and how he developed himself as a good programmer, machine learning engineer, and how he is exploring this data analytics domain. And if you find it useful, then make sure to like the video, share it with your friends. And if you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe the channel, press the notification icon. I will see you guys in next weekend with, I will try my level best to come up with a podcast. I'm not committing anything, but I'll try my level best. So till then, just stay safe, stay home, take care of yourself and your family too.